Today we are going to discuss about important formula for the steam formation or you can see important formula for the properties of steam. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So this is a very important figure to understand the different formula that will be used to solve the numerical portion of the properties of steam. If you want to understand this diagram you can refer my earlier videos of properties of steam. First, enthalpy of the wet steam. The symbol for the enthalpy of wet steam is HW. It is the specific enthalpy. W that is the enthalpy of the wet steam to HF plus X into HFG. HF is known as the enthalpy of the fluid the dryness fraction of the steam that is equal as the enthalpy of evaporation. The weight steam that is in between D to E portion. So whatever it may be the position of the steam in between D to E is known as the weight steam. So let's say the weight steam that is represented over here at this point. So you can understand this is the enthalpy HF plus sum of the portion of HFG and that's why it is X into HFG where X is always less than 1. Next enthalpy of dry steam. Sometimes it is called as the enthalpy of dry saturated steam and that dry saturated steam that is exactly at point E where the dryness fraction is equal to 1. So if you put over here the dryness fraction is equal to 1 then your Hg is Hf plus Hfg. So if you put X is equal to 1 then your steam is considered as a dry saturated steam. So simply you can say Hg is equal to Hf plus Hfg. So here you can see enthalpy of dry saturated steam that means at point E and from this figure you can understand the enthalpy of dry saturated steam with reference to the C point that is HF plus HFG. Now it is really very important to understand this all formulae of the different type of the steam with the help of this diagram. So it is very easy to solve the numerical portion of the properties of steam. Now third one enthalpy of superheated steam. That means above point E. That means in this portion the steam is known as superheated steam. And here you can see the enthalpy of the superheated steam with reference to the C point. That means from here to here. So that is Hg plus heat of superheat. So you can see over here Hg plus heat of superheat and that is Cp delta T. So here this is the enthalpy of the superheated steam is equal to Hg plus Cps. Cps that means specific heat at constant pressure of the steam and that is generally taken as 2.1 kilojoule per kg galvin. T superheated that means the temperature of the superheated steam. T saturation that means the saturation temperature of the steam. Now volume of wet steam. So here in between D to E that is wet steam and if you want to find the volume of that wet steam then it is represented as Vw that means specific volume of wet steam that is equal to X into Vg where Vg is the specific volume of the gas and you can find the value of the Vg from the steam table. So now if I want to find the specific volume of the superheated steam. Let's say one number that is at point E and two number that is at point F. So one two process that is at constant pressure process. And so that I can say at point 1 V1 upon T1 is equal to at point 2 V2 upon T2. Because of one two process is at constant pressure process. So I can write like this. Now V1 that means the volume at point E. 
and you know that at point E the steam is dry saturated so I can say at point E the volume is Vg so I can put it Vg over here T1 that means the temperature at point E and you know the temperature at point E is known as saturation temperature so instead of T1 I can write T saturation is equal to V2 that means the specific volume at point F and that is the specific volume of the superheated steam and that is my objective so I can write over here V superheated T2 that means the temperature at point F and that is T superheated so from this equation you can find the specific volume of the superheated steam next formula and that is very important formula the enthalpy that is in terms of the internal energy and flow work that is the external work during evaporation so this is a very important formula of enthalpy in terms of internal energy and in terms of the flow work during evaporation so i can write over here that u that is called as the internal energy of the steam and pv that is called as the external work during the evaporation so thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video